Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video. This video is all about what will happen if moon is in the second house. What happens if moon is in the second house as per Vedic astrology? So this is the question I received from one of my followers of my YouTube channel. So let me tell you first of all, what is moon? Moon represents your mind, moon represents your thought process, moon represents your mother, moon represents your mother-in-law, moon represents your elder sister, moon represents liquid, moon represents traveling, moon represents blames, cheating, expenditure, you know, changes, cold, water, are all these are all significant so significators of planet moon. Most importantly, moon represents your thoughts, moon represents your feelings, moon represents your emotions, right? The way you understand the people, the, the way people understand you, all these things can be seen from the placement of planet moon. All right. If moon is placed in the second house, what is second house? Second house talks about your assets. Second house talks about your childhood. Second house talks about your uh, speech. Okay. It is the house of speech. So what happens if moon, moon, can, moon comes into your second house? And second house also talks about your face, your right eye. Second house talks about food. Second house talks about wealth. Second house talks about speech, death and everything. All right. So what happens if planet moon, the moon is considered as the most benefic planet along, along with the planet Jupiter. Of course, Jupiter I rate as the first rank and second comes is Venus and third comes is planet moon and fourth comes is planet Mercury. All right. So what happens if moon becomes, moon happens to be in the second house. This makes the person very wealthy, handsome, romantic and artistic talent. And this represents these people are moon in the second house this makes the person very fond of women if it is if well aspected it has talent in music and foreign languages if moon is afflicted then this causes loss of wealth poverty and disappearance of inherited property so this makes the person so depending upon the planet if at all planet is stronger in the birth chart obviously you'll be getting the positive significators I'm very fast in terms of telling you uh, the prediction but please replay this video and do watch what I have told you in terms of your strong moon as well as weaker moon the more stronger is the planet the better will be your results for example if your second house happen to be your uh, Leo zodiac sign or cancer zodiac sign or second house happen to be your uh, uh, Mars zodiac sign that is Scorpio or even uh, your uh, Aries and if, if it happens to be Pisces or Sagittarius this this is considered a stronger moon provided moon is not receiving the aspects malefic aspects from Saturn Rahu and Ketu okay most importantly Saturn Rahu are the dead enemies for planet moon because their aspect makes the person very sensitive about the feelings you might have seen some people are quite sensitive in nature and also sometimes people are very repulsive the way they talk um, you cannot able to you cannot able to trust their words and all that this happens if at all you have Saturn's uh, aspect upon moon on the second house and second house talks about thoughts second house talks about feelings second house talks about speech communication all these things represented by planet moon all right so i hope you enjoyed this video so please let me know in the comment section what exactly you learned from this video what exactly you love from this video and also please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel because i'll be adding more videos more short videos i don't want to bore you with long videos by making this video for 10 minutes 15 minutes i know your concentration levels are very less and also you are very curious in terms of knowing what is the prediction if at all moon happens to be in the second house or whatsoever so that's the reason i'm just making the short videos to make you to understand the vedic astrology aspects in a more better manner all right so i hope you enjoyed this video and if at all you need my astrological consultation the link is mentioned in the description section do book for an astrological consultation once i get a consultation order i'll be able to help you with a complete analysis pertaining to your individual birth chart okay and i'll see you in the consultation bye for now